Coco, and you're inside tennis with the cause. This is a program that I really wish we had started 10 or 20 years ago. It's been so incredibly successful. The reception at every base has been amazing. And we're still hoping to grow this program to where we're doing 10 to 15 events a year because you know, it's, uh, it's... It needs it, to be done. It, it does need to be done. It, it's that worthwhile and it's not because it's our, our program. That's not the reason. The reason is because these military folks are so special and they deserve this kind of stuff. We love coming to the bases, introducing tennis to people who've never played, reviving somebody's interest in tennis who's played, um, introducing it to kids. It just gives back what the military does for us and what we do for them, I mean, it pales in comparison. It's been so much fun. It's a great opportunity for our kids to experience tennis, and it's so wonderful of you guys and your organization to come out and do this for us. We're really grateful. They really enjoyed it. We probably learned a whole lot and everything. We don't uh, get to play much tennis, so I'm sure they enjoyed that a lot. They always love learning new sports and doing new things, so. It's really, it's, it's fun. I like it. I've never had the experience, and I think it's, it's nice. Well, my mom is pretty good at it, and so she wants me to learn so she, could, she and me can practice. It's really fun. I like the freedom. I get to hit as hard as I can. And I, yeah, it's kind of hard because you have to hit it like in the middle of the racket to get a good swing. It's really fun. It's really nice. I mean, they are really enjoying. That's something what I said because I do a little bit uh, coaching, uh, not tennis, but, uh, but coaching by myself. And I said that this is really professional. People are, uh, and children are having so much fun. They are really enjoying it. I think I really like this game. It's fun. Well, I like tennis. That's really cool and it's very really fun. You know, for people who've never played, that anybody on base can come out, husbands, wives, people that work here, their kids, and they have never held a racket, so all you really need is a lot of enthusiasm, be positive, and everybody out here is so nice. And they're like, hey, this is the greatest thing we've ever been to, and I'm going, wow, I love this. I love coming. Dick is uh, hes no surprise and he's a real deal. As a Trinity alumnus also, I know all about the legend of Dick Stockton. But uh, more importantly, we're having a great day with some young people. We're getting a chance to introduce them to a sport that we all love and feel very passionate about. And we're getting a chance to say thank you to their moms and dads, all the armed forces. They don't get nearly enough credit, nearly enough thanks. We're proud to be out here. Oh, it's wonderful. This is my fourth year that I've helped him with the boots on the court. And uh, he's just amazing. Amazing guy, energetic, uh, pushes, promotes everybody. He's very positive atmosphere. It's, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. You know, he's, he's, he's a legendary uh, player. We, we're learning a lot. And uh, to be able to help him out and share the game of tennis with people that, you know, haven't been exposed to it is, uh, is quite a treat. So, you know, I, I remember running around on the court playing king of the court you know when I was his age so to, to bring it to, to kids that are new to the sport it really it really means a lot. Oh I mean you can't thank them enough for their service and uh, you know just you know how much they do for everybody and uh, you know this is the least we could do. It's, it's really nice to see someone do something else too besides just playing tennis like helping you know um, these families here. It was so much fun I just moved here to Florida and I kind of stopped tennis but when I came here like I don't know, like I just remember how much fun it was playing tennis in Texas. So now I'm just gonna keep on practicing and learning all the skills that he taught me. I think it was a great experience for me to just getting up in the morning and look forward to playing tennis here on the courts with a bunch of pros and beginners, people who don't know how to play tennis and people who've been playing tennis for years and could kick my butt. Nova is six weeks old and she's out here enjoying tennis already. That means only six weeks ago you gave birth and you're running out here as well as ever. Well, how much fun was it for you to return on the court back here with Dick Stockton? It was, it was actually a treat for me. My first day exercising, first day back. Um, it's always fun coming out here and playing with you guys um, and always learning new stuff too. <laughs> Blue sky and sun is shining. It's it's very hot, but it didn't disturb the fun we had. And uh, instructors are amazing. And um, I feel like I can play in Wimbledon now. <laughs> we'll be driving to 
to uh, to Texas in October. We'll be driving to West Point in August. And you know, each of those is about a three th round trip. It's a three thousand mile trip. But we do not care about that. You know, we can't we can't ship all this equipment we take. We have to drive, and and uh, and and then it just the, the smiles and the thanks that you get from these people just to give them a little bit of tennis. I mean, and and they they can't get enough of it. I mean, I, I wish we could do more. At the end of the day, we just sit down and we compare notes and we talk about how we can make it better, how we can reach more people, go to more bases. Great times also at West Point. And Donna, we cannot wait to catch up with you that last Sunday of August. Yes, sir. August 25th, the day before the Open starts. So uh, it's a good day to be in the New York area. And we're, we're only coming if Donna's coming. I'm only going if Donna's going because we drove her car last yes, year, too. Did. Yes, you did. That's right. But Donna, to have you involved with us is a treat. What you add to the clinics, talking to the people, actually, she's a, she's a good coach out there making some great suggestions. Oh, she does, she does everything for us as, as well as, and I'm not afraid to say that she's been a huge financial contributor to this program. Huge. And we are so appreciative of that. And with Donna, it's always from the heart. It's absolutely from the heart. And she does everything from her heart, whether it's with our program, or whether it's wheelchair sports. I mean, we had Jim Tierney here today from Boca, and, and he runs the wheelchair tournaments there. And I know Don has been there to his place. And, and uh, you know, she, do, she does all that from the heart. This was a great event. It would have been better, Don, if you were here. But you know what? She was right here with us. You know that. And we're looking forward to the next one where we can all be together. Well, I have an idea. It's going to be West Point again. Done. I can't wait. August, West Point, Donna, be there. I'm Mike. I'm Bob. You're inside tennis with the cause.